130. The CDC says 130 people lose their lives every single day due to an opioid drug overdose. They leave their family and their friends behind. Narcan, an overdose reversal drug, is carried by police, EMS. You can buy it, but is that enough to just have access to it? You're going to look for uh, the shallow breathing. A health science center bought Narcan and is training all of their staff on how to spot an overdose. You'll then insert it into the patient's nostril. And how to administer the drug. Make sure that their head is tilted back and inject. The goal is to set an example in hopes that others will bring doses into their communities and make overdose response training classes as common as CPR classes. It's an initiative that Mr. and Mrs. Stuckey, who lost their son to an overdose, hope will catch on. Too late for us, maybe not too late, to save a life for someone else. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention statistics show that over 26,000 opioid overdoses in the U.S. were reversed by non-medical people using Narcan from 1996 all the way to 2014. Now, this is one of those drugs that you don't want to be reading the instructions right before you got to use it. On the CVS website, I found there are five steps, not only about how to give the drug, but also identifying an overdose and how you're supposed to give them basic CPR before you even administer the drug in the first place. It's worth a read. You never know when you could save a life.